Back in Afghanistan, I was a interpreter with U.S. Army, Marine, and Air Force. I was working in a couple of different provinces like Helmand, Kandahar, and Zabal. Back in our country, some of them, like people, they don't like to be. We work for the U.S. forces uh, in Afghanistan, so they don't like it. Not most of them, but some of them, they don't like it to work for them. But uh, I said, I, I'm going to help both sides, Afghanistan side and U.S. side. So I was in the between both of them to translate. My parents back there, my brother, my sister, sibling back there in Afghanistan. There's no way how to get them out, but uh, they're still there. Concern is that because I work for the U.S. forces, so it's a kind of very hard for them, you know, that, you know, if something happened, they were telling your, bro your son or brother work for, for the U.S. forces in Afghanistan, and then that's, that's a concern. I do help a lot, we, like especially here in community, we do have the people that they don't speak English, and we do help them on a, a lot of other things that they need, like filling up the paperwork, translating, going to the doctor, and all those stuff. We do help a lot with the people that they can't speak English. I have over five years experience as a truck driver, and I'm working since from last year with the 2020 CDL training school as an instructor. We have many people, many students from Afghanistan during the evacuation from Afghanistan. So they join us and learn how to drive the truck and get the license. So they speak Pashto and Parsi. So we, we translate as well that to those people that don't speak English very well. They need the help because I know what, how they get up from Afghanistan, the situation was there and they got now, they're, they're trying to get the license, which is good achievement for them. So I need, we need to help them to get the license and go on the road and get the, get the money for their families. My goal is like three to five years and build my career for three to five years and have go back to my studies and finish my bachelor and masters. Driving in Kabul is, you can drive anywhere in the world. Especially, I went after like three years to visit my family and uh, I drove in the city. I couldn't drive because the people are driving really crazy back there. We don't have a, a lot of uh, traffic signal lights and all those kind of lines and all those stuff. But I mean, if you can drive in Kabul, you can drive anywhere in the world.